remembering who we are. Ancient ones, priests, priestesses, gods, goddesses. We are remembering the origins of our home, of our belonging at this time of great upheaval on the planet, we come together united through the heart chakra to elevate the frequencies of Gaia, to connect with the ancient ones, to continue our journey into ascension and the evolution of consciousness for humanity. divine servant of source creator here to protect life humanity Gaia and all her beings I'm honored to be here in these times of great transformation where we get to imagine together the new earth reality as we choose to become the masters, those divine beings who are opening the way, the way showers, and preparing for the children and the future that we want to participate in. an incredible magnetic force that brings to us everything we need on our divine plan. As long as we're aligned with the heart and we express the vibration of our true nature, the doors open for this new reality. I'm here as a messenger, as somebody who has transcended death, motherhood, <laughs> and many, many uh, beautiful experiences as well as some very, very dark ones as many of us who came in these times are releasing these old templates from our DNA, from our memory field, our water memory complex that we are. And as we release this out, these old belief systems, these old ideas about who and what we actually are, we, we then allow, we have all this space for more and more light to come in and to activate, to light up that dormant DNA. This is transforming us. As the light filtering through, being assisted from the galactic center into our central sun, and emanating those rays out into our planet. It's creating a lot of chaos, but out of chaos, stars are born, new systems are born, and perhaps new humans. Humans that are more conscious, more telepathic, Humans who trust in the innate intelligence of their God-given bodies and choose to be sovereign 
in alignment with these higher frequencies streaming through. I can talk about these things now because I feel safe. I feel supported by my team of light and my brothers and sisters that I've recently met in the Essene community. Beautiful, loving, kind, and generous people that I can relate with and are good for the soul, good for growth and transformation. And there's a lot of children there and I get to bring my daughter as well and participate in this expansion of consciousness of the soul infused personality where we don't separate the human the essence of your being and your eternal self, soul self the remembering is happening and it's a beautiful thing and it's also not yet such a common experience although we are seeing how this is happening all over the world right now sometimes it takes a catalyst a trigger and perhaps this virus or this old agenda is waking up human consciousness and others that's not what's happening and that's every soul is having the experience that they aligned with and it is what it is I personally have a stand on these vaccinations and control and all of these other things that seem to be happening but again are they really or is this a choice point where things get to drop away the less you pay attention to them the less you give power to them and the more you give power to your eternal self, your spiritual path, your truth, your sovereignty, then that reality from within starts to manifest from without. And I'm experiencing this for myself as I let go of um, a stepping stone on my path with this retreat center and I move into community which has always been the vision and now I get to experience it I live the Tao in harmony with nature with Pachamama with Father Sky and Mother Earth the Rainbow Bridge as Native Americans have always spoken about and these are exciting times if you choose your divinity if you choose peace and compassion for what many are going through at this time knowing that there is a bigger cosmic plan unfolding and that we can surrender to that and the more we do the less we struggle and the more we receive the energies have switched into a lot more Venus the goddess is rising with Pachamama, the intuition within all of us is getting clearer and sharper. And so we're evolving, we're choosing 
that path. Everything is known and shown in the Akashic field. There is no beginning or end. It's just a journey of learning. And so we can choose to live in integrity and in alignment with the virtues of what it means to be a happy, healthy, loving human being. This is where we are now, and this is where we're heading. There is no future in duality and in separation and in war and in um, any type of agenda that is not aligning with the divine will. And so we get to choose. So thank you. That was really fun for me to just go with the flow and see what happens. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming uh, here on my channel. Um, I will continue to share my own ascension journey and embodied wisdom. Anything that comes through is coming through me authentically through my own experience and so that is the truth and the discernment in these times of mass information that the kingdom of God is within us that um, it's an inner it's an inside job so we we need to go in there and pull out those weeds and shadows and all the pain and sorrow and grief and these things are just need to go They're, they need to be released from us so that we can allow more and more of these higher frequency templates in so I'm going to continue uh, some teachings and anything that's coming through again I'm sharing as I express the toning with the vowel sounds is very healing. Um, the vibrations through the different chakras. You can just explore that for yourself how e -ho -ha. see where it resonates and just have fun with it. You could sit there for a long time and it's very healing. And it's very good for us to use our voice and express, especially for women. It's linked to the womb. It's linked to our power. Um, men as well. But women uh, have a history of not uh, speaking as much or expressing. And even um, it's very, very healing and transformative. So I would recommend that. And some sacred music. This one's at 528 hertz. It's some like Egyptian background music. <laughs> and candles and my little crystal bowls. And then just having some talismans that can empower us that, you know, this is beautiful creation by a beautiful friend of mine, Josephine. I'm going to put the link to her uh, YouTube and website underneath. She's an artist in Germany that I met through uh, some amazing people that are practicing um, and learning about universal wisdom, ancient mystic traditions, truth that has been told over the years but also suppressed for a very long time but now it's all coming out so we get to live in this beautiful place of exploring and learning and sharing and also using your discernment because there's a lot out there that might not be as pure it's very important to have spiritual hygiene to clear and cleanse and ask for only the most benevolent forces um, to come around 
and to be with you and to support you in love because I think uh, sometimes when we're in lower frequencies we can attract uh, negative energies and entities and all of that and so it's important to do some clearing so um, I'm gonna do a video on that actually because I have an altar and uh, what I use in senses and sound again so um, I'm gonna leave with one card that I pulled from this beautiful deck the energy mandalas I pulled out the card will and because I pulled out this card actually that's why I made this video because I was like well I don't know if I should make a video and you know there's so much out there so much information and then I thought just do a bit of sound and share and uh, sometimes the transmission from the heart can just be its own you know medicine or therapy and that's what my intention was is just to put something out there that will be calming and healing and peaceful for people that happen to be on this channel or who are subscribed to my channel and thank you to those that did buy uh, my mp3 on my website my um, ceremony and breath work and sound and i sing on this which is a big deal for me but it's there it's recorded and it's an offering a creative offering from again my essence and my voice and my heart so um, if you're interested i'm going to put the link under there as well you can download that as an mp4 and listen to it it's an hour long and i've been getting some really good feedback so and if you do happen to uh, to do the whole ceremony you could always leave me a comment or send me an email i'd love to hear what your experience was with that okay so this card will i'm going to read it i have a candle over here as a man can develop his muscles through physical exercise, he can cultivate his will through the practice of conscious effort and training. Once the will reaches maturity and that man is trained to will, a magnetic center is created within him, allowing him to attract all the right conditions in order to realize his goals. The second stage consists in making the will spiritual, rendering it conscious and connecting it to the cosmic intelligence. If the will of man is not spiritualized and linked to the divine intelligence, he will invitably be captured by the influences and suggestions of the inferior nature that will lead him into slavery. Without a doubt, freedom passes through the development of the will of the inner forces in man. Through the will, man becomes individualized and learns to say yes or no with strength, determination, and conviction. But even at this stage of internal development, man can again be captured by a darker intelligence and slavery be greater than in an, awake, an unawakened man. The second stage consists in spiritualization of the will at this level, will becomes magical for man learns to will in the subtle and invisible worlds. His will, or we also call that the quantum field now, so we have science to back all of this spiritual stuff, which is great. At this level, will becomes magical for man learns to will in the subtle and invisible worlds. He will become a center of magnetic radiance, a breathable atmosphere, capable of acting on soul states, thoughts, the soul of events, psychic energies, and influences. In the third stage, the will is united with the cosmic intelligence, with the divine world. This is the triumph of freedom, for man then uses his strength intelligently for the good of all beings. In developing your will, you must have in view to become a stronger, but also to broaden your consciousness and become united with the fortitude that snatches the palm from all other powers that animate the universe. 